Hey guys, welcome back, Orbomb here, bringing you another episode of our PTCGO Live content. I know you're seeing Eggy over here, my boy Eggy looking menacing with those three heads. We're playing some Alolan Executor today, and uh, I do want to say uh, that if you are going to enjoy the video, if you are a fan of the Aura Army, don't forget to drop a like. Your likes are super appreciative. We're trying to hit that 3k mark. We're getting real close. So all the likes, the, the comments, the subscriptions, all that good jazz. Keep, keep, it, keep it coming, keep it coming, keep it coming. Feed, feed the Aura Army, man. Feed me. I'm hungry. But uh, we're playing some Alone Executor today, so I will say this right now. We're getting into the video. I don't think Alone Executor is very good. I think it's pretty bad. <laughs> but we're going to have a lot of fun with this video. We're going to make it playable we're gonna but we're also gonna make it hilarious that's the goal for today we're gonna have a lot of fun with today's video we're playing some alolan executor gx 220 hp dragon pokemon that uses grass energies thank you base pokemon for giving us a archetype where dragons only use one type but uh we have three pretty interesting attacks we have tropical head which probably which is probably going to be attack we use most of the time that and definitely going to be using tower go around to get some cheeky knockouts this attack does 20 damage times the amount of energy attached to this Pokemon, to one of your opponent's Pokemon. So that's pretty cool. So if you have three energies, you can do 60 damage snipe to any Pokemon, which is a pretty good number. We're going to try to get three energies on Eggy and try to snipe the bench for 60 where we can. <clears throat> Dragon Hammer is 120 for four energies, and uh, it confuses them. So last resort attack, but it does do 120. That's more damage than you would do with Tropical Head. And we have Tower Go Round GX. We're going to use this when we're about to die or need to get like a 210 HP knockout with a Choice Man against things like Zoroark and Glisspod. And afterwards, we can move any number of energy from your Pokemon to your other Pokemon any way you like. So we can just shuffle our energies around, uh, and we can see how that goes. So that's the goal of the long Executor GX. Kind of snipe and take a big knockout when we need to. Weak to Fairy, so it's going to be unfortunate. Although on stream, the very first time I played this deck, we did beat Gardevoir. And uh, don't ask me how. Don't worry about it. Don't ask questions. Don't ask too many questions. It's not, it's not a big deal. Don't think about it. And uh, <laughs> But like this tech, not very well tested. But I, f I found that like there was a huge argument. <clears throat> about what do you play alone executor with do you play with venusaur and just kind of max elixir put energies down do you play with vikavolts and that way you can just put multiple energies on your executor from the deck and i was like you know what we're going to evolve executor we are going to play both look at this deck build right here <laughs> we're gonna have a lot of fun today but don't forget to like the video if you have not already we're gonna be playing it with both venusaur and vikavolt and we're gonna see how uh, clunky it is and how good we can make it. Of course, we are playing a 3-3 line of Execute, Executor. Uh, Execute does have Hypnosis, that's something worth mentioning, but it has a, an abysmal 50 HP number. Don't really get that. I mean, like, I get, there's six eggs, I guess one is broken. So maybe that's why, maybe that maybe that was a 60th HP, but now it's gone, I don't know. <clears throat> oh my God, I my throat, I'm sorry about that, guys. We have a 3-3 line of Executor. We are playing 2-2 Bulbasaur Venusaur. No Ivysaur in this deck and no Charge Bug either. Obviously, we have to make cuts somewhere. We're playing our Rare Candy anyways. I'm thinking I play my 2 Skyla, yeah. Uh, we have our 3 Heavy Ball or 4 Ultra Ball. We should be able to get Pokemon and um, Rare Candies, hopefully. <laughs> hopefully. If you guys don't know, Venusaur gives you your basic Grass Energies count as two basic grass energies instead of just one which is cool it's bad because like if you have like say you have three grass energies that's like the essentially having six grass energies which is bad because Lele can still hit you as if you have six grass energies but it's, it works for all pokemon including venusaur so venusaur can attack for two energies uh vikavolt can attach for two, attack for uh i think three energies because he needs one grass and two lightning or one grass and one lightning and one other thing right and then he can attack for two or three energies uh then lele can actually abuse it as well which is really nice but we are playing a two two line of grubbin vikavolt vikavolt gives you an electric and lightning energy from the deck i am playing playing a little bit more lightning i know after the first couple games i played with this deck i found that when i i do get vikavolt out when i do get vikavolt out i really want lightning energy sometimes i want to get be able to get more than just one energy out of the deck a lot of the time so i am going to be playing a two two line of vikavolt with a six four split of energies we'll see if that works and of course three later because we have to have some sort of consistency right let's see if i have to drop one or anything like that later we are playing one energy recycler because energies are nice right we want to put them back i want to put them back one field blower because uh, just one <laughs> three heavy balls and we are maxing out with four rare candies uh, I believe just one rescue stretcher and one super rod. Yes, we want our stuff back a lot. When I tested this deck, when I played this deck, uh, your opponent does knock out your Pokemon with energies. You lose your Pokemon through the likes of Sycamore being knocked out, things like that, a lot. 
a lot in this deck. So I am playing Max Recursion, one of each card. We'll see how I like it. <laughs> <laughs> it's supposed to be a fun video. Four Ultra Balls. We are playing, I believe, two Bridgets. Yeah, two Bridgets because we want those Pokemon early game. Uh, two Guzma because we have Snipe. We don't really need Max Guzma. Four, four, and then Sycamore for consistency. And two Skyla for more consistency. We are playing two Choice Bands. We really only want it for Executory to get that big knockout. But if we can Tropical Head or Dragon Hammer for a good amount of damage, or we can use Vicable Tail for a 180, that's also nice as well. Two Float Stones because, please, <laughs> we want to retreat. And of course, our 10 energies. That's gonna be a vid that's gonna be another video. Hold up. That's going to be the deck, guys. Let's still go ahead and see if we can find a couple of games. We'll be back when we find one. Hopefully, we don't have to take forever um, to find one, though. It's called the Eggy. Here it is. Eggy, 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 Eggy. Boom! Shout out to Wolfie Click, VGC World Champion. We got a nice quick game here, or a nice. We got a game quickly. Wow! Hold up. My throat is on some other stuff today, guys. Whew. But how have you guys been? Let me know. Let me know. Let's let's do a comment question today. What's your favorite dragon type Pokemon? You know what? Because like I know my buddy Spaceborg, one of his favorite Pokemon of all time is Executor. Look at this opening hand. It's actually not that bad. We get another. Um, hmm. We can play Bridget here. We can play Bridget. Oh, who should we going first? Uh oh. I mean, we, we're not grass. <laughs> Our grass attacker is Venusaur. Uh, I guess with Choice Band we get a knockout, right? This is going to be... Oh, no. No. I really like my opening hand. I'm not going to lie. Because I can play Bridget here, get a draw sport the next turn, bro. That would have been super clean. Um, But whatever. These things are these things happen. Now my hands are awful. Now my hands are atrocious. Now I'm sad. <laughs> Heavy Ball doesn't give me anything. Okay, we got a Bulbasaur. You know what? I'll take a Bulbasaur. I'm gonna put this man to sleep, even though he can retreat and evolve, and that'd be that'd be annoying. Uh, he needs a DC to knock me out, though. Should I go for it? Oh well, I guess so. Go to sleep. Stay asleep. Don't wake up. Oh, he woke up. <laughs> Please don't get Buzzwell with strong energy. That'd be awkward. 50 HP is such a bad HP number. But uh, yeah, my buddy loves Executor. He's like, it's one of his favorite Pokemon. Because he just loves Pokemon that have ridiculous sizes. And I, I kind of agree with him. He's pretty dope. I love Executor too. I want to say he's anywhere close to my favorite Pokemon of all time. But oh, please don't have DC. Oh, what is this? What does this do? Please don't have DC. Yeah, attack me with Red Rock. That'd be cool. Do that. That seems like a good play. Oh, God. Is he actually going to try? I mean, he knocked me out. How did he knock me out? Oh, I'm a base. I thought it only worked on Evolved Pokemon. No. That's really bad. Okay, we top deck that. That's not bad. <clears throat> that's really bad, though. Now would be cool. If I had Ivysaur here, I could have got it with Heavy Ball. No rare candy. None of that stuff, though. Oh, it's a yikes. Um, wow, this is really hard to get going. I'm not going to lie. This is really tough to get going. Do I let him knock out my Bulbasaur? I guess I don't really have a choice, huh? I could put him asleep, though. Let's put him asleep. Go to bed. Stay asleep. <laughs> Go to sleep. Get to sleep. Don't wake up. Don't wake up. What you doing? Don't be waking up in my house. My house. You can't be waking up in my house. Don't have Guzma. Alright, so if I get top deck rare candy, that'd be kind of nice. Alright, can we can we not do this? This is a, this is, that's a scary Pokemon you got right there. Oh god, don't you dare get Guzma. Don't do it. Don't you do it. Don't you do it. Not today. Not today, not yesterday, and not tomorrow, bro. Don't do it. Did you guys see that new card? That you flip a card, and if you get heads, you can get an item out of your, out of your deck? That's some wild stuff right there. Dude, what did I just tell you, man? I don't know if you were listening to me, but I'm pretty sure I just told you to not get Guzma. What did I just say? What did I just say? Man, this garbage person. Bad. He's a bad dude. He's a bad man. All right, we're gonna put you to sleep now. All right, you guys are staying asleep until we can get our set off off. All right, that's what's happening. That is what's happening. That is what is happening right now. One, one, two. <laughs> we're gonna go in. What's prized? Uh, still have Venusaur. We have both of our Vicavolts. We have a pretty good chunk of draw supporters left. We're just gonna put everything down. You're going to sleep. I do not care. Go to sleep. Don't wake up. What I thought. 
That's what I thought. All right, top deck mode. Let's get it. <laughs> Let's get it. Top deck mode, activate. Come on. I believe in the heart of the cards. I do. They call me Atem. I am Yugi Moto. All right, good. No Guzmas. We're okay here. This man was just like, man, I thought you were just, well, he's, he's, he's pulling out the Lele. He's charging up the Lele. Oh, you woke up. Oh, you know what, you know what that means, guys. You know what that means. This man is going right back to bed. Do not even question. Nope. Go to sleep. <laughs> you ain't waking up today. Nah, that's what I thought. No, no waking up for you, my, my dude. You ain't waking up today. No, nah, not today. Not today and not yesterday and not tomorrow. You ain't waking up. Yeah, charge up your dude. I don't care. Does it look like I care? Yeah, you stay asleep, big dog. You stay asleep. Ooh, look at that. We out here. We out here getting money. <laughs> Do I play N? I think I play N. Let's play N. Uh, who do I charge? Let's put this on. You know what? We're gonna play N here, and we're gonna we're just gonna get the best N of our life. That's all that's gonna happen right now. That's all that's gonna happen. We're just gonna get the greatest N that ends could have. We're gonna get two rare candies, Venusaur and uh, Vicavol and Executor. All right. That's gonna be just that's just, now that's just five of our cards, right? That's what's gonna happen. You know what? That's real close. The question is, Lele is kind of threatening. I think first thing is I will do this. Oh, by the way, Heavy Ball works on all of our Pokemon, but our basics and Lele. I just want to throw that out there. Um, for now, I do want to get Executor. I want to start sniping that bench, bro. See this thing over here? It's got to go. <laughs> it's got to go. Not in my house, bro. Not in my house. <clears throat> 20, 40, 60, 80. We're hitting for 80. That's almost a 2 hit KO. Yeah, let's go ahead and strong charge. Can you knock me out in one hit? He can with... No, he doesn't have a Lycan Rock out. Nothing can knock me out in one hit. I think I will just attack this... Um, Executor in, in front of us. Because I can knock that out next turn. It's not a big deal. I could GX right now, though. No, I'm just going to attack for the time being. I could confuse him. No, I'm going to confuse him. Hit him for 120. Get him confused. That way, if he does wake up. Does this wake him up? I don't know how this works. Ooh, broke it. That does not help me at all. I guess it does wake him up. Huh, it's good to know. So if you're confused, if you're asleep... Did somebody let me know if that's like actually a thing or that's like a TCGO thing? Oh, nice, you got to end. Um, because that's really interesting to me. Oh my god, Venusaur's coming next, boys and girls. We even got Executor and we got a Sycamore in a hand, dude. I'm telling you, man, this is the best deck. We about to hit for a billion damage on the bench. Oh yeah, go ahead and retreat. So he does... Alright, I see how it is. Alright. If we have Choice Man, we get a knockout here. And I can put all my energies onto this, which is good to know. So I definitely need to evolve right away, because this is a problem. Uh, choice Band is going to be nice. But we don't have it yet. We can still stick more this turn, though, which is good. Which I will be doing this turn for sure. And I will be playing this as well. We got both out. This might be the one. This might be the one and done game, my friends. This might be a one and done game. <laughs> we have. Uh, we still haven't even maxed out our energy count yet, just because we're gonna sick more here. We'll play you. One. All right. So we can snipe this. We can snipe that. I think we can snipe those later, though. I definitely want to try to get. Um, before I play Vicable, I kind of want to try to get Choice Band. Uh, but we have two, four, six, seven. That's 140 damage. Uh, 100 and it's 40 more damage. We can actually get a knockout with just attacking with um, Executor. Oh, we got two energies. We did get Choice Band, which is good. So I am going to get my knockout here for 210. And I am going to start charging this boy up in the bench. That way we can start sniping everywhere. It's my last energy. <laughs> we need our Super Rods, bros. We need our Super Rods, bros. <clears throat> but I'm definitely going to GX here, I think. He has no way to knock me out besides attacking me with one of these. He can't knock this one out at all. So uh, I think I will tower go round. GX now. Get our big knockout because we hit for 210. And choose energies. I will put one grass here. 
because we that but it's two four six eight that's 160 kind of want to put one more grass here but i don't know if that's a good idea or not uh because he's weak to grass in some of these pokemon i kind of want to set up venusaur so i'm gonna put like two grasses on a venusaur in case he has any shenanigans and we have guzma in hand so even if he chooses not to knock me out i can guzma I'm gonna put this one on Vicavolt. Um, yeah, we'll do that there. Dope. All click done. I like that. Let's get some energies off the uh, prizes, please and thank you. Another Eggy and a Sycamore. You know what? I'll take those. They're not bad at all. Bro, we got it a fully look at this field right now. We got we got Eggy 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 over here. He's about to do some big damage with Corner, but I have Guzma, so I'm not too worried about it. <coughs> he has nothing else that can really attack me. That thing has got to go. But I also want to just win. You know what I mean? He's going to GX me and like really hurt me, bro. That's what scares me. So I think I have to just knock out these rock refs and just be smart about it. Because what I could do here is... Mm, how, do I, how do I want to do this? I'm not too sure yet, actually. He's going he's to end me. That's fine. I can play Vickable now and get a grass energy onto Executor. But we know it's my last energy in general. So it doesn't really matter if I do that. But I've got to knock out these babies over here. Like, I'm sorry. I don't have Guzma anymore, which is the really, really, really annoying part. Uh, like, that's actually super duper annoying that I don't have Guzma anymore. But this is a three retreat, right? Uh, I know I don't have any more energies than deck. Or, let me check the deck real quick. This is my last grass energy. Um, I guess for, 40 doesn't do anything. I can hit this thing for, like, not enough. Hmm, maybe I should have thought more about how I should have transferred my energies. Uh, he's gonna knock this one out, so I think I'm gonna have to start setting up this active executor. I think that's the play. Do I Sycamore though? That's the next question. So I can't retreat. There's no way for me to retreat. So I, I'm just kind of boned in that aspect. Uh... Man, hmm, I want to play more energies. There's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's two energies prized, which sucks. Uh, I'm going to end, I think. I'm going to rely on him not getting, what's it called? Oh, this would be really cool if I had another Vickavolt. Or Field Blower right now, that would be really cool as well. Let's go ahead and drop some damage on Lele here. Because I want to win with like Venusaur and, and Vicavol after he takes these GX knockouts. This has got to go. I'm trying to make sure he doesn't evolve into Lycanroc. Because if he sets up a Lycanroc, I'm in a bad place. Because he GXs me for knockout on my Executor, which is I'm losing a lot of my energies. I can't seem to find my uh, Super Rod though. Maybe Super Rod's prize as well as my uh, two energies. That'd be really annoying. Just to have that many energies prized. That's a yikes. <clears throat> oh, is he going to start attacking with Buzzle? That'd be a good play as well. So I kind of want, I think I'll do, yeah, well, he'll just take a knockout here with corner. See, I don't care if he attacks me with corner. Corner's only doing 100. Um, I'm going to grub in here. This gives me some bench space for Lele as well, which is good. Let's see, two Skylas. Any of these Skylas useful? Let's find out. Could get a second Vicavol, although it's completely worthless right now. I could get Skyla for, like, a supporter next turn. I'm just debating. Do I want to win this game, like right now, or do I go for like the the safe, this knockout rock rough thing? Let's play Skylar for sure, though. And let's grab. What do I want to grab? I can get rid of this floatstone because I can knock this out and knock this out, and I can even try to knock that out because right now I have six energies, right? So I'm hitting 120. That doesn't knock that out, unfortunately, unless I get one more energy. Um, so I think what I'm going to do is just grab Ultra Ball for now. I'm not going to use it because that gets me a free Lele, right? And if I need to play Lele, I can. Because a Choice Banded uh, Venusaur knocks out a uh, a Lycanroc. 
which is my main concern, right? So if he comes into Lycanroc, GXs me and knocks me out, I just win the game by attacking with Venusaur if I get a Choice Band. I have a Skyla in hand and I know Choice Bands in the deck. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this opportunity to knock out Regirock. Is that what I'm gonna do? Okay, let me let me do this first as well though. Cause he has to get rid of Executor, but he also has to get rid of these two. So I'm gonna get rid of my rare candies just to grab Lele into my hand. And that means that if I have to, I have more I have two options, either Skyla for choice band or <clears throat> uh Lele for a draw support. But for now we're gonna tropical head, we're gonna knock out this Regirock over here. Nice powerful 120 bench damage. Yeah. So we hopefully can win. Hopefully can win. Actually, never mind. He just takes two more prizes and wins the game. Why am I... I was looking at prizes as if they were my own. Oh, man. I was looking at my prizes as if they were his own. All right, if he knocks me out here, I lose anyways. Um, So, that's a yikes. Should have thought about that. It's okay, though. Because regardless, I was still lost if he got Lycanroc, no matter the situation. He needed Lycanroc and, um, and a fighting energy. To win this game, no matter what happened. So as long as he whiffs that off of Octillery, we should be okay. He just needs to not get Lycanroc fighting energy. If he does, it's not the end of the world. We have Ultra Ball, we can get Lele for a drop supporter. And once again, this play is still alive as well. But if we get a single energy, which we didn't get a single energy off the prizes, by the way. I do want to throw that out there. Okay, we got Lele. So what are you doing? That's not, no, that's, that's the question. I need to knock this out, but I can't seem to get fighting energies for the life of me. See, what I can do is Guzma, but if I play Guzma, I don't have a... Mm. <clears throat> I could Guzma and trap this in the active. I could Guzma and attack it with this, actually, but Lycanroc is still a play I'm afraid of. That's the issue. I might have to NS both the two. Um... I can Guzman attack with Venusaur. I wish I had one more energy, man. Oh, I do have one more energy. No, I win then. Don't I just Guzma for game? Not Guzma for game, but don't I just snipe Lele? I did get energy with the prizes. Oh, then we should be okay. Um, What do I do here just in case? I just snipe Lele, right? And I win the game? Oh yeah, we're, we're good then. Let me grab Sycamore. Let me just Vickavolt. And I think we should win the game after that. Dude, shout out to that. Okay, good. I wasn't paying attention if we got energy saw the prizes. I thought we didn't, but I guess we did. But that should be all the energies we need to uh, win the game with uh, Executor. And now we just snipe Lele. Dude, shout out to Eggy coming through, bro. Wasn't this the deck that like did really well as in our regionals do? Dude, shout out to Eggy. Eggy, 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 man. This, this is this is the deck. All right, so there's a there was a super rod, so I was right about super rod being prized. <laughs> I should probably check my prizes. Uh, hey, Eggy came through, bro. Eggy came through against a very powerful deck. I believe that made top 32 at uh, the most recent standard regional. Dude, that's really dope. This will probably be the last game, though, just because I'm not recording at my house. So if you hear any weird background noise, it's, that's why. I've been, there's dog, there's dog in my room. In this room, not my room. And uh, uh, other people working in different offices all around me. Why am I on a five game win streak, bro? What was I playing last? It's weird. What was I playing? I know I was... No, that was like a long time ago. Maybe I was playing Expanded? Dude, this opening hand is kind of... It's kind of nutty. It's kind of nutty. This is a really good opening hand. We're not going first again, though. I wish we could just go first more often so I can evolve easier. This opening hand is actually <laughs> kind of nuts. Because we get a Bridget here for our final two Pokemon. Or I can just Ultra Ball for them and then like... I don't know. I might just pass. We're playing against Water. Uh, looks like it's Greninja. If it is Greninja... Yikes, we're gonna have to attack with a, uh, I don't know. How do we attack? <laughs> I don't know what to do if we're playing against Dragon Ninja, actually. We have to attack with Executor, but what does that do for us? Because <laughs> this ability doesn't work during our turn. We can attack with it with a fully set of Venusaur and always get a knockout, right? I think that's my play now. We're going to have to start attacking with Venusaurs and hopefully set up a Vicavolt before you can turn off abilities. So we're going to need a really, really, really good turn too. And for sleep rolls to like be crazy life. Oh, whoops, sorry. Messing with audio by accident. 
All right, so if that's the case, I'm going to try to put him to sleep and hopefully no shenanigans happen. Um, even though I don't think that's the best play. Do I bridge it then? We definitely don't need choice band. Uh, but I don't want to bridge it because I kind of want Skyla at the same time. I also want Executor. We'll, we'll put him to sleep. I think I think what we do this turn is we play we play Sycamore or we play N because he has an energy in hand. He seems to be pretty confident with his hand, so I know that whenever a Greninja player is confident with their hand, you got to make sure you get rid of it. So we're gonna Lele for a N here. Is there anything I want to grab with Heavy Ball? Not really. Everything I want to evolve. We'll keep the we'll keep the Heavy Ball in the deck just because it's always really good to have a Heavy Ball in deck. But yeah, my opponent's confident in their hand, so I'm going to end it. No need for me to play Bridget. I already have um, two executes down and Bulbasaur. Vicavolt doesn't seem very useful this game. It'd be nice to get off of Vicavolt before my opponent can. Um, what's it called? Before my opponent can uh, turn off abilities, but I don't think it's going to happen. So I'm just going to bank on that not being a thing. And we'll just put this man to sleep. Maybe he'll, maybe, uh, damn it. Um, maybe, uh, we'll get lucky and he has a bad hand. Because it is, it is Greninja. As a avid Greninja player, I will tell you that bad hands are the cornerstone of being a good Greninja player. <laughs> uh, the, the, the most important part of playing Greninja is always being in a bad place. <laughs> oh, he's got rare candy. Oh, that's a yikes. Um, okay, well... That sucks. <laughs> I know he had Rick in the deck, but I, I they usually only play like a one of two, two of count. I didn't think I'd end him into a Rick Candy Greninja. Oh man. But he didn't turn off abilities. I don't think it matters. But he didn't, and that that's something I can talk about, I guess. Uh, I don't have Rick Candy in hand. I do now. Let's get a Venusaur out. I guess. Is that what I want to do? Yeah, I'm pretty confident in being able to get Executor out of the deck. Let's get my only Venusaur. Now that I have Red Candy in hand, might as well abuse it before I Sycamore. Because I am probably going to Sycamore here. Mm. I just hate that, like... Mm. I don't know. I don't want to attach that. Uh, I guess we'll do Super Rod. Actually, I might not. I might hold off on Super Rodding. I think I'm just going to play this. I want to keep those in the discard pile. I want to put Eggy egg back, but I don't think I'll be able to safely do that. We'll put Grubbin down just in case. But we whiffed Executor, so screw my confidence, right? We'll put him to sleep and hopefully he doesn't have the break. I guess. I guess. Man, that sucks. Dang it, stop, stay asleep. <laughs> stay asleep. Stop it. Go to bed. You're tired. It's over. The day's been long, bro. You had a hard day at work. All you need to do is just get some sleep, man. That's all you gotta do. It's gotta start you. Actually, I can snipe start you if I get a uh, executor here. You know, if I could just get one of those very elusive executors. Is he gonna knock me out here? Is that his play? Or is he gonna Moonlight Slash? Because if he does choose to knock me out, that's going to be really cool for me. Because I get a knockout with Venusaur, um, which is interesting. I check it. What could happen here is that uh, I can... If he if he Moonlight Slashes me, then I go on to Venusaur, hopefully get Rare Candy Vickable, attach to a... To, uh, draw into a draw a Grass Energy here, and then get a knockout with, um, with Venusaur because it will have two energies. Or two Grass Energies, ideally. So I think that's what I'm going to try to do here. So all I need to do is draw a Vickavolt, or maybe like a manual. Oh, of course. <sighs> of course. Um, I don't want to... You're 70 HP, right? All right, cool. Then you're pretty safe to put down. I guess we'll stick him right here. So I have a chance. It's very low, but it's there. Like right here. Like, um, this would have been perfect if I had a... Another grass energy. Um, to draw, that is. Alright, let's just go ahead and just give Vickable for now. You can 
keep that stupid thing, I guess. Uh, Vicka 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 Volt. I can attack him with uh, the Bulbasaur, hit him for 60. <laughs> That's a day, bro. It's every day, bro. Um, hmm. It's unfortunate that I whipped that Grass Energy Attachment. Especially since I have them. They're all in the deck. That's really annoying. I'll put them all there. I kind of want to retreat. I probably should retreat. I can bait him into knocking out Lele. I'll go into Lele. It's not ideal by any means, but it's something, right? Running low on cards. All right. Because like this can knock out everything, but right now I only have three energies attached. If you count double energy from exact from Venusaur, that's why I was really hoping to draw a Grass Energy as well. Because if I drew a Grass Energy, then I just I hit for weakness, which means I hit 180, which knocks out all of his Pokemon. So I can just continue to hit him until I eventually die, and then in the meantime try to set up a second Venusaur because I still have Stretcher in the deck somewhere. And especially since he's not doing water, he's not doing the uh, he's not doing um, water duplicates. That's a lot less Pokemon I have to deal with. I have Rescue Stretcher somewhere as well, so I can actually get the Venusaur back if I get a rare candy. I really wanted to play with Eggy though, because Eggy could have sniped some things, but apparently my uh, my belief in the heart of the cards didn't, didn't work for me. So remember, kids, don't believe in the heart of the cards. Just uh, play on. Does he play Lele, or is he getting is he getting um is he getting Greninja Break? He does play Lele, okay cool. See I was confused if the rare candy belt play Lele or not, but I guess it does. So I guess he's getting his Sycamore here and hopefully none of his uh, breaks and no Starmie. That's the ideal plan, right? No breaks, no Starmie, and no choice bands. You should be okay. Yep. With all of those, and uh, you would be okay. Trust me. Don't worry about it. Don't ask questions. Also, don't Moonlight Slash me. That'd be pretty cool as well. Alright, you left everything, right? No need to even think about it. No Evo sodas, no Ultra Balls, uh, none of that stuff. Yeah, that's what I thought. No choice bands at all either, right? You're just gonna Moonlight Slash here and do your best. If you Moonlight Slashes, that's annoying. Because I can't attack anymore. That's why I really want- if I had three energies this turn- Ow, I just bit my tongue. If I had three energies this turn, I could have attacked and I could have manually attached the following turn. He did great energy break, that's annoying. Like, there were so many good things that would have happened if I just didn't whiff that last energy, man. Even if it was like a regular, um, even if it was like a regular electric energy, it would have been fine. Because at that point, I would have still had four energies. Yeah, he's still, he's going for that play. Uh, stop playing so good! Yeah, he's gonna put it back in sand. Right, where are my e-hammers, bro? I mean, this is one of those games that I would usually scoop, but for the sake of, like, Trying to see how far I can go in this match. I kind of want to play it out. But yeah, he shadow stitched me, so we're just gonna go ahead and uh, call it a game. Uh, you know, we're just gonna we're gonna end the video there. You know, we had, we had one good match, we had one bad match, but that bad match was like our worst matchup ever. <laughs> so there's that. Uh, but you know, that's what we played. We played against a spread damage deck that should usually beat us, but we, we managed to win. So that's pretty cool. Drop a like if you have not already. Let's go over the Eggy, 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 Eggy deck. You know, probably never going to play this deck again because I don't recommend ever playing it. But it's a lot of fun to play. So if you got, if you want to like troll on the ladder and uh, see if you can pull off the double executor uh, with a with a Venusaur and a Vicable on the bench, bro, send me screenshots, bro. Tweet at me at Orbomb. All right. Follow me on Twitter, by the way, if you haven't already. Like the video. Because that's important, all right? You guys don't understand. Liking the video is like, it's like, it's like, what's a good comparison? It's like, every time you like a video, I get the same glee a dog gets whenever you give him a snack, all right? So I'm just letting you know right now, if you want to see the happiness in my face, just drop that like, it's always greatly appreciated. Uh, I, you know, if you, let me know what you change about the deck, uh, besides the obvious, oh, take out the Vigabolts, take out the Executors, take out the Venusaurs, you know, besides the obvious troll comments that, People think are really funny, but they're not. They're not funny. Hope you guys know that. You've just got a big old laugh in your head, but nobody else is laughing. <laughs> Anyways, I'm going crazy. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.